Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go over this speech by Ibrahim Traore, who is the president of Burkina Faso currently. Now, he's going to give a speech to the elites in Burkina Faso and he's going to expose their hypocrisy and inaction on issues facing the people over there. Now, one of the things that I've realized as I've grown older is that we don't really talk enough about the African elites because I've realized that the African elites and the people on the ground they don't live in the same reality. They don't face the same challenges. And I once sat down and spent whole evening with a politician from Somalia. And one of the things he said to me on that day when we were eating was that nobody wants to solve the issues in Somalia. Nobody wants to get rid of the war and the famines and things like that because they're making money of it. So there are people who are actually benefiting from the civil wars, from all of this turmoil, from poverty, this, this, there are actually people who are making money of it. And those elites, they don't want things to change. I am not a politician. I'm not joking, I am a soldier. And I prefer to tell you the truth. Everyone is free to take or leave. Everyone drives around in their car. Everyone is living well. We eat in the morning, we eat for lunch, we eat at night. We do what we want to do. We are free to talk about saying what we want. It's democracy, it's the right, that's all. That's all we know about in Ouagadougou. But go ahead and see the children who have skin on their bones. Go see those who are starving. Go see those women who can no longer breastfeed. Because they have nothing left in their breasts. Go see them. Let's not pretend. If our journalists do not have the courage to go to the field and bring you these images, it's because we want to wash the image of Burkina. I tell you that it is false. It exists. When I tell you about the people who eat the grass, whoever wants to challenge, I'll bring him tomorrow. Go see. It continues. It has not even stopped. Because we were able to supply some villages. But others not yet. We are still on the way. No civilian can even support with trucks so that we can be in solidarity with this population. What integrity is this? What is integrity, Burkina Faso? What is it? This lack of support has deeply unsettled and revolted us. Until we address the core issues plaguing this country, we will always be revolted. For the moment, We've managed to secure some trucks in the army and have been using our own means to transport supplies. However, this hasn't really added much support for the starving populations. And even in this, there's been a distinct lack of empathy. Citizens knew about the situation, but they've remained on the sidelines. It is to say that solidarity has disappeared in Burkina. Have pity for the people. Have pity for the youth, have pity for the children. What did these villagers do so that when the sun sets, they find themselves in the caves under the trees, they leave the village, and in the morning they show up, they look to see if everything is okay before coming back. They sleep in the bush, they can't sleep at home. We don't tell you these truths, this is the reality of Burkina. We only see our cities we are responsible for what happens to us, and we will be fully responsible for what follows. Either it's good or it's bad. It will depend on our behavior in the future. Everyone has to give their best. I think we can do it. I am optimistic. I hope we will get there. The reason why I like this clip so much is because you usually hear African leaders, they give beautiful speeches when they're talking to European leaders, to American leaders, they always give the same speech. Ah, we will not be colonized. We are here. African solutions to African problems. But when it comes to themselves, they do not talk to their own elites. They don't talk to their own politicians and tell them that, hey, let's solve the issues facing our people. Let's solve the poverty and this, this and that. Because those things they don't really care about. And they know that by yelling at Macron in France, they will get a lot of likes and shares and a lot of people will be duped by that as if those people actually work for the Africans. But those are just clips. What you need to do is do like Ibrahim here is doing. Talk about the issues facing your people. Try to solve it. 
and be frank about it. Yes, we were able to solve this issue. We weren't able to solve that, but we are working on it. Oh, that is the issue that's facing us. Okay, what are we going to do about it? And let's try our best. Because at the end of the day, it will be us, the Africans, who will face these issues and who will fix these issues. And if we cannot be frank about what's happening, if we cannot be frank to each other and hold ourselves accountable, how is there ever going to be a change? The change is not going to come from the Europe, the America, the Asia, the China, here or there. The change will come from within. So this kind of speech is where we talk frankly to each ourselves and we actually say oh can you this is the reality of the state we are living in our people are facing this ridiculous challenges and it's unacceptable let's help them okay we let's try this did it work it didn't work okay let's try something else so this is why i like this clip so much but anyways i hope you like this video and if you did please do remember to subscribe like share and comment